Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that I really, really am proud of and I'm really excited to talk about. It's one of the things that I needed as a tech reviewer as well as a vlogger uh, just for certain situations where I can use this item to make my videos pop out and stand out a lot more on my YouTube channel. And I gotta say, I'm enjoying this thing a lot. <laughs> So the thing we're talking about today is the newer 39 inch camera slider. The one that I picked up was fully manual. Now I know what you're thinking. Some people may be saying that this camera brand itself isn't really that great of quality, uh, but honestly everything that I have that's been made by this company newer has actually been pretty stout in quality. The overall frame of this thing is built in aluminum, whereas the rails are a super lightweight carbon fiber, which I think really allows it to be a lot more portable and less back breaking when you're carrying this thing along. Uh, the cool thing about it, it has these little adjustable legs on there. You can also adjust the height. And then you have your sliding axis, uh, which works really well in my opinion. Uh, you just have to get really good with manually sliding it. You also have your, your leveling bubble, which is pretty important if you're gonna be using this thing. Uh, you really wanna have this thing leveled on a flat surface if you plan to use it for videos. Now, if you haven't noticed yet on this gimbal right here that you have seen, I've actually customized it to where it's actually not a manual gimbal like it was originally purchased to be. Now, I found a lot of videos online regarding electronic mobile type sliders like this one, but I couldn't find anything in the price range of what I could actually afford. Pretty much everything that I've been looking for that was mobile and that can be electronically controlled is about $300 to $500 at the cheapest. And it's most, li most of the time, those things are about half the size of this gimbal. I really wanted to get something that was gonna be versatile for what I wanted to use it for but at the same time it's compact and small to where I can collapse it down and carry it with me on video shoots. And while researching all those things and looking up electronic sliders I found a couple of videos which really really grabbed my attention and uh, one of the best videos that I saw that actually had a lot of instructions and information on it was the Nova Spirit video uh, if you haven't and I'll be putting a link of him in the description below he actually did a pretty cool wiring diagram on how to create this little functional electronically Wi-Fi controlled slider motor combo <laughs> And honestly, me and the experience that I have with programming, I had a small amount of understanding, so it wasn't really that bad, but there is a learning curve for learning how to program those things. Also, me having a 3D printer, I was able to print out all the parts that I need in order for me to connect this thing to the slider and have an electronic mobile slider set up. Now, keep in mind, I'm still working out a lot of the kinks and everything that's on this right now is purely test fitment, but it is totally functional for an electronic slider. All of this is controlled by my mobile phone device, which I connect to my little Arduino chip. Now, just a quick run down I do have a stepper motor connected to this which I did also connect to this bracket that I 3d printed on my printer uh, like I said this is all test fitment that's not exactly the cleanest looking mount bracket for right now but it definitely will be in the future. And I also use this timing belt, which I purchased on eBay for about 10 bucks, which was also in Nova Spirits DIY, which is connected to the bottom of the slider using these same belts and a 3D printed bracket, which is also connected on the other end to another bracket with a bearing mounted timing gear. Now mounting everything up was pretty simple. All I needed to do was print out these brackets that were on Thingiverse. There was some modification with drilling, but it's it's PLA plastic, so it's not that really bit, that big of a deal. You can probably use just a drill bit and not even a drill to connect these things. Once you drill those holes through, you're able to mount it up to the brackets that are already there and use a Home Depot bolt, which is fairly simple. You can buy these at any hardware store. Also, just in case you guys may be discouraged, all of these parts can probably be created and purchasing metal plates or bars and bending them to your function and mounting it up to these things. It's fairly simple. You just have to have a little bit of hardware knowledge and drilling, and you can probably get this thing working ASAP. Once those few things were mounted up, you had to go into the complicated part, which was getting the Arduino Node EMU board, which I purchased here. Uh, this thing was about nine bucks on eBay, and then you have to get the motor driver, which pretty much powers the stepper motor, which I power with this 12 volt battery external. And to power the board, I connect it using a USB power adapter. 
And I pretty much now have a mobile carbon fiber slider, which is pretty cool that I control by my phone. Yeah, that's uh, basically it. Now, just a few things I would like to mention. The programming for this was a little hard to understand if you're not really into programming. Uh, I've actually had a lot of experience with programming, so I understood how to change the things for the length of my slider. This actually is a lot larger than the one that he previously made. However, I did want to get a good quality slider with all of these little adjustable functions on there. So I figured this would probably be the best route to get a manual slider. And if I decided that I wanted to take these things off, it's really not that big of a deal. And it's pretty much back to the manual slider like it was before. I did print this little box to mount in my PCB breadboard uh, just so that I can have all these cables. I may mount all these later. However, I have had some issues with the driver motors getting hot. So I'm still trying to figure that out, uh, possibly mounting some fans in there later. Okay, so that's enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and test it out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the knee carbon fiber 39 inch slider with the Arduino Node EMU controller board through Wi-Fi motorized control. Honestly, I have no idea what exactly I just said, so we're just gonna try it out. Stick with me. Because I'm recording on the Canon EOS M50, which is the best camera ever in my opinion, we're gonna be using the 70D to record all of these slider shots with this stock servo style autofocus. It's gonna be fun. So let's try it out. By the way, I have this Joby Gorillapod head that I pulled from my Joby Gorillapod. This is good so that you can mount your cameras easily, but it also give you some height and adjustability for the pivoting of the camera. So you can adjust the panning and the tilt on the camera itself. Just a tip, if you're planning on getting a slider, I would recommend picking up either one of these Joby style Gorillapod heads or purchasing another fluid head so that you can get some cool panning shots when you're doing slides. Just a tip. Just a tip. Another thing I forgot to mention, because this camera does not have micro switches on it, which tells you if you are stopped at each end, it pretty much has a certain length and you have to put it back to where you originally started. I may add the little micro switches in later to do that, but honestly, I don't really need it because what I use it for, you're only gonna use this amount of space and you don't really have to have to stop, so. It's totally up to you if you want to add those later, if you know how to program all that. But honestly, I just feel like it's extra time that I don't have to do. All right guys, that is pretty much it for today. I wanted to show you guys the cool thing that I picked up. I'm really gonna use this thing a lot for all my videos. And I think it's gonna do a large impact on some of my YouTube videos. I think it's uh, one of the things that I really need that I've been working on getting. Um, I, I can't believe that I got this thing set up uh, and it's usable and it's actually functional. Uh, usually I'm the type of person that when I try to fix something or make something, it just does not turn out what it actually is supposed to be. This is like the first time it's actually worked. So I'm really surprised and I'm hoping that it stays that way. But yeah, that's the Neatword manual slash electronic slider. 
I think it turned out pretty good and I'll definitely be using this in the future. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also what I'll do is I'll link Nova Spirit so you guys can look at his video as well and uh, probably put up some parts list for you guys if case, in case you plan on doing something like this. Honestly, it's actually very simple. You just kind of have to understand how to use Arduino or learn how to use Arduino and program a little bit of language in there. You can pretty much pull his program off the website and upload it to yours and uh, kind of edit it if you figure out how to, if you read some of the notes that he has in there. I myself, I had a lot of fun just learning how to program this little teeny card and using it for Wi-Fi function is just amazing. I had all these spare parts that I use for my 3D printer as well as my RC cars and my electronic skateboard stuff that I could really just fix and mount it to my slider and it turned out uh, amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty excited and I'll definitely be doing more videos on this thing in the future. Let me know what you guys think about this thing in the comments below. Do you think it's a good idea to use this thing for videos or should I have just spent the extra money and bought something that was more professionally built. Also, if you have any questions regarding this, feel free to ask it in the comments below as well. I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but hey, this actually turned out pretty good, and I'm pretty excited to use this thing in the future. As always, guys, thank you so much, and if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell to see the next videos as soon as they come out. That's it for today, guys. Peace.